Babbitts here and today I'm going to show you how to install the Babbitts full contact hardware on this Fender base. Here we have the full contact hardware four string base bridge. This is the package you will receive when you buy it. Let's see what's inside. Open it up. it over. And here's the bridge. And also included in the package is the instruction sheet, basic feature and installation instructions. Also please go to fullcontacthardware.com and register your serial number. You also get adjustment key, 2 millimeter key, and 5 mounting screws. And here's the bridge. You can see the saddle lock system for each individual saddle. The Ecamm saddle system, low contact hardware Ecamm saddle system. And I'm going to show you how to install this on a Fender base. Okay, to prep the bridge for installation, you first must remove the saddles. I'm going to use a 2 millimeter wrench and I'm going to loosen the saddle lock screws. These are all the same and I would recommend keeping all the saddle components kind of in a nice neat row. Okay, now you want to remove the saddle housing. And I use a power drill in the back and screw it. Okay, here's my first saddle assembly. Okay. And this allows you access to mount the bridge nice and cleanly. Uh, the intonation screws on some of them are aligned with the mounting screws. Uh, this allows you to mount the bridge cleanly. Now we're going to remove the strings. So you can see the original Fender base is uh, essentially the Leo Fender design which is you know phenomenal design originally back in the 50s uh, was it was made with threaded rod which the saddles kind of can float around especially if you detune detune your strings or you tune down you don't have as much downward pressure and your saddles can move around and vibrate and absorb string vibration so that's what we're going to be um, addressing when we install the full contact base bridge now I'm going to remove the five mounting screws. And the bridge just comes off. Okay. Now you'll note on the bottom of the full contact bridge plate there's a kind of a roughed up area. You want to align that with your ground wire, your pickup ground wire, when you mount the bridge so the bridge is well grounded. And also you make sure you use the screws that are included with the full contact hardware kit because these have uh, flatheads and 
you want when mounted you want that flat head to be below the bridge plate surface now we simply proceed with installing the provided five flathead screws and I like to go in and do the final tightening by hand to make sure that everything is seated well and you're not stripping the screw heads out with power drill there so you just simply reinstall the saddles in reverse order from how you took them off Now the pattern that I have these set in is approximately on an angle with the first string further forward. And that's to kind of mimic the, the final intonation pattern that you'll you'll see when we're done. Now I'm going to install the four saddle locking saddle housing locking screws and notice that these come with little washers these make it easier to adjust and there you have it we are ready for restringing Okay, now I'm going to set the string height. There's a saddle lock to the left side of the saddle housing. Release that counterclockwise. And to set your string height, you simply turn the height adjustment screw. And then you can see the ECAM saddle activate. I'm moving it up and down. So you can see you get a, a very, very wide range of action adjustments. So you just proceed to set the string height adjustment as you wish. And just to remember to go back in when you're done setting your string height to lock the saddle insert in place. Okay, so my action height is set approximately, and now it's time to intonate. And to intonate your full contact saddle, you loosen your saddle lock screw right here. And behind the bridge, you will see your Phillips head screw. Uh, you can see that as I turn that screw, my saddle moves back and forth. Okay, so you want to go ahead and set your intonation. Once you have the proper intonation position set for your saddle, you just go back in and lock it firmly. And this way your saddle can't rock back and forth during string vibrations. If you have your intonation set, you have your bass tuned up, obviously, intonation set, then you want to double check your action height. Again, that's this screw 
always to the right of the saddle. Double check your action height. Make sure it's comfortable. It plays well. Then the very last thing that I like to do, a good little trick, a little tip, is to go back in and just tighten down your, your saddle insert lock, your height adjustment lock lock. Tighten that down a little bit more. And just go back in and just tighten everything up. Make sure everything is snug. And this will ensure that your saddle is completely rock solid. And that's the final installation of the full contact hardware base bridge.